Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of, uh, almost said City Skylines. I don't know where that came Oh, I watched a video about City Skylines the other day. That's where it came from. Alright, um, going medieval, that's what we're playing. <laughs> just like, I had to think about it. I'm like, what are we, what are we playing this season again? Alright, uh, yeah, so we're playing going medieval and I told them to start working on the pass over here. We should start working on that pretty soon. Um, and slowly mining out this area, which will take a little bit of time to do, I think, and then we can start focusing on getting the miners to work on mining this part out, uh, mainly this second part right here, and we'll get as much clay as possible. I'm not sure how we're doing on clay, actually. We're doing a fair amount, a couple hundred probably over a thousand stacks we could probably check our materials can't we uh, materials raw clay six thousand five hundred and fifty clay that's not too bad and we got more clay over here as well and it looks like we're making some bricks we're gonna need a lot more bricks for um, that wall project as well so uh, because it is winter I think it would be probably a safe time to actually start taking down some of these walls and replacing them at least that's the idea i don't know if that will work out uh we also got another baby deer as well i noticed last episode so we got a male one so the next generation is definitely secured so we got one female and one male um fawns and then we got uh, of course our two males and females so that's good. Um, at least we have a supply now that will start to stabilize a little bit more now that we have two of them. And um, I'm almost wondering if we have enough food for everyone. Let's just quickly check to see if all the piles are set up. So this one has three. So these guys are using hay, which is fine because chickens don't actually require animal feed uh, hard to tell with their bars food yeah so it if they eat it it usually fills it up because they're like a small animal so it's usually fine just giving them hay there's no benefit to um, giving them animal feed really so all right uh, yeah so let's take a look at that um, temperature thing quickly and see how that's turned out so I think we're going to need to couple up here uh, for the heat thing.
All right, guys, so we got most of the path done. Uh, we're still working on this last part, but it won't take them much longer. And I told them to chop down a couple dead trees over here. I'm not sure if there's any other dead ones around. That one's dead. I think that one's dead. I uh, also got them to start, um, what do you call it? Mining the, or not mining the, um, building the rest of the path path as well, so it shouldn't take them too much longer to do that. There's like three people working on the building right now, so I guess they don't have other jobs. <laughs> okay, these all look good. That one's dead. Just trying to get the dead ones out so the other trees have a chance to grow. Yeah, so I got them to start working on this side, and then, um, I'm not sure, are they finished that? Yeah, it looks like they're finished that. So what we can do is we can uh, let them finish this part over here, and then that will be good for that part. Now, for this forest, um, part right here, it's probably not going to get enough sunlight from the uh, thing there so these are all probably gonna get stunned pretty pretty soon we could chop them down now I guess that might be an option because most likely they're not gonna get enough sunlight anyways right so we'll do we'll do that we'll just tell them to chop those down and we can put some houses or something we have one person that still needs a house so we might be able to fit some houses in this area and let's see here uh for the house design we got a couple cabins i'm not sure if this is enough to actually fulfill the job requirements though so um what one is the uh person here this person see there's they're barred but we need it says that settler has to have their own private quarters now they do have their own private quarters, so I'm not sure if um, it's just not big enough or something like that. Uh, I don't even know where they sleep. Yeah, it's this one right here. So it's it's private. Um, Alice's chamber quarters. So I'm almost wondering if there's different levels of size or something like that. And in that case, we might need to go a little bit bigger than what we have.
right, so we got um, most of the path done. They're just finishing up this uh, last part here. I think they're all uh, relaxing at the moment, which is good. Uh, they need that after hard day of work and waking up and everything like that, so that's good. Um, yeah, so w we haven't started the wall projects just yet, upgrading it, but I do eventually want to do that. Um, we're only on day five, so we probably have a little bit more time to uh, work on that, but uh, we, we desperately need a house for one of our settlers. One of them are still living in the church, so I was thinking about taking uh, the guy that we have as the uh, bard, um, I think this is his house at the moment, and moving it over here, and it's a little bit bigger. I've designed it a little bit uh, differently. Uh, for example, there's wooden floors here and on this side, but there's uh, stone bricks, or I think it's stone bricks, stone blo limestone block ones in the middle. It's made out a little bit more uh, better materials. It has a roof of... Um, that one has a wooden roof, so this one has like a brick roof. So we'll see if that helps as well. And I've also added a couple uh, limestone bl brick pillars in the center just for aesthetics. And there's also some arches built in there just for decoration and stuff. It doesn't actually hold any um, support for the roof or anything like that. It's just mostly decoration. But I know the arches have a little bit of a effect for um, decoration. If we go in here, we can see that the aesthetic value is 5 on these. So that should help a little bit. I don't know. We'll we'll take a look at it and see how it turns out. Uh, I still need to figure out where I'm going to be putting like the heat source and stuff like that. I think I'll put it right in the middle, and we'll see how that turns out. And hopefully this will count as a chamber. I'm not sure if there is anything else, but um, like higher than that. I think it might have to do with space. I'm not sure. But um, hopefully that's going to be big enough. If not, then, I, then that's just kind of a waste of resources. But um, I think it might be because there's quite a bit of room in there. So compared to what they have now. So it's like twice or three times the size. So it should be fine. And we'll still need to um, decorate it and stuff like that. But it's a step in the right direction, I think. Okay, so this is a chamber, and that's a chamber, so I don't know. Huh. Alright guys, so we got that house built and turns out, yes, we just needed a bigger uh, place, probably more decorations as well. Um, 
I put a couple of these things in, uh, which are new items, and I think that might have uh, done it. <laughs> I'm not sure why they're sleeping on the floor. Um, okay. You have a bed. I'm not sure why you're not sleeping in the bed, but right. <laughs> Closer to the heat source, maybe. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, so the next thing in order to get Bard 3, uh, what we need is if we go to the tab here. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, we haven't even gotten Bard 2 yet. What we need is a wardrobe and a mirror. So we're going to need those two things before we can go ahead and do that. So at least we got the chamber now. So I'm not sure why they're sleeping on the floor, but right, at least they're sleeping in a place. Uh, that's not outside, so we'll have to get a mirror and stuff like that unlocked. Uh, I'm not sure if we have it unlocked or not. Uh, let's see here. Yes, we have the mirrors unlocked. And what was the other thing? Something else. Wardrobe. I don't think we have the wardrobe unlocked yet. It would be under furniture, probably. Uh, let's see here. Furniture two. Furniture three. So yeah, we need furniture three in order to unlock that. Um, it shouldn't take too long, I don't think. What we'll do is we'll get them to work on the um, mirror. And set that as a priority. Uh, let's see, amount until you have, I think we just need silver for that, so I'm going to say until we have, um, or just amount one, and that should be good enough, I think. But yeah, outside of that, uh, we've been really productive, we got the paths all finished today, so we can start working on the walls next, and probably doing this part here. Oh, well, the only downside is this part's made of wood. So we'll have to like fill in right up against the thing and then replace the wood underneath, I think. And that will be better um, with probably brick just to make sure that it doesn't flood our storage area. But outside of that, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.